video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back for new paper stuff and buy. But I normally don't do reviews on any products and such, but I just got this new laptop, the Alienware M17, the 2019 version. I need a back bay port. The one I had didn't really fit it. But here it is. Here's a new one. Alienware M17 Pro. And I had not seen a review on this thing when I did research for going in and purchasing this item. It was on the other one, and I didn't really care for the other one too much. So I got this one, and just thought I'd share my thoughts, give you a little bit of a review. I've had this for about a week now. But anyhow, here we go. Let's right, so take a look into this backpack here. What are the features on this thing? So we got two elasticized bands for water bottles and such. Both sides. It's the one step up does have more storage space besides these. And got a little pocket up here at the front. We got these zippers which I like. They seem to be durable so far. I hadn't had any issues with it. It's just a rubber strap here, a grab hook. And it says Alienware on there. Not sure if you can see that. Let's open it up. And what is inside? It's pretty decent fabric, but Overall, this backpack kind of feels, it feels not bad quality, but not the best. But so far it's done good, done me good. So there's a space in there. And I'll give you a better idea of what you can put in here, or what you can fit in here, in just a minute. Let's turn around here. So these things here are reflective. This 23 and the alien head logo there is reflective. There is a part where you can Throw patches on if you have any patches. Kind of throw them on there. The bottom is still a little padded, so it's kind of tough at the bottom. But the other fabric's okay. I've not poured water on it, it's not rained around here, so I'm not sure how it does as far as waterproofing. And we have another reflective Alien Head logo up here. And these are some very comfortable straps here. You got these little hooks down here, make it easy to pull down and adjust whenever you need to. Back part is padded and I've not loaded this up quite enough for me to actually know whether this is a good thing, good pattern or not, but from here it is, it's like a jelly, kind of like a foam in there, and there's the other grab hook. So that's the close up and we'll get started to load this thing up, see what we can put inside. All right, so what can we fit inside this backpack? Well, my 17 inch Alienware 2019. And this can slide just right in here. And you got some 
room to spare. That is not exactly hitting the corners, but of course this was designed for the M17. We got some pockets here, so can we throw in these pockets? This bag was expected by James. Well, I'll keep it in there. Um, so I got my mouse. I'll throw that in there. And let's throw my pencil case. Just a little bit of room there. Let's try another mouse. Let's throw in my Logitech mouse there. All right, so that kind of hangs up towards the top. This is a wired mouse. So let's switch these out. Let's take out my wireless, put in the wired, and see how that looks. So my pencil case, wired mouse, and then not too bad. Fits in there. Uh, let's put in a power brick. Kind of hanging there, I think it's safe. And a solid state drive. Let's pull this out. And that will actually, you know what? Let's throw it in here. No. Yeah, let's just. Secure if I put it behind the mouse. It's fine. Put this here. All right, not bad. Kind of messy, but who gives a shit? Um, we got a big bulge there. Um, I got. A razor controller. And why don't we stick this up here? See if this fits in here. The razor controller is about the same size as the standard Xbox controller. So that fits in there. And it's not forcing the buttons down. So that should be okay. And there is a space in here for headphones. Y'all can see that. It's got the headphone logo on. And I got my a wired Logitech Pro headphones. Of course, I'm going to take this out before I slide it in there. All right, operational pause. All right, so I found this pouch to be utterly useless. I can't fit my G Pro wire, my G Pro ride headphones in there. Just, so I took these out and I tried to put these in there, just would not go. The band would not come out far enough for you to slide these in there. If you forced it in there, it would be scraping against the top of my laptop here. So that is that is not a good thing. That's, that is a terrible thing. All right, so I got these other headphones. Um, they're some V Modas, and let's see how this does. All right, it does, the band does come out far enough, but I really don't want to slide these in there because the force is really pressed against the top of my laptop and I don't really feel that it's going to be a good outcome there. So, oh, very disappointed in 
this pocket here. Now, what about the controller? See if this slides down that pocket there. The rest of the controller slides down there without any issues. So that should be a controller tab rather than a headphone tab because that is pointless. And this definitely won't fit inside this pocket here. Yeah, it's useless. That's not going to go inside that thing. Um, wow. So if I put my controller down here, then I can't really... Can I put my phone down there? All right, so I can throw the headphones down there, but it's going to be outside the pocket. Let's really take a look there. So it's going to have space to fit between the controller and the top side of the backpack, and it should be safe. So there's a way to go there. Now, let's try some. Let's pull these headphones out. Now, what if I put all these in the front pocket here? I still got that. I can probably just stick that on the side. And of course, slide these mic in there. What if I put the control up here? So there you go. That fits the control, no problem. And my headphones still will not fit inside the slice bag, by the way. So let's slide that down there. But that's just not that great of a. Fitting there. So I'll just slide the control back down here. Put thumbs in. And we'll shoot. What you could do is just put your power brick up here. Kind of messy, I know, but for the sake of the video, I should get this in quick. All right, so that does it. So, laptop, 17 inch laptop, and your power brick, you got your controllers and the headphones bag, you got your headphone between your controller and top of the bag, you got your hard drive, an additional mouse. Well, no, you got your mouse. Hard drive and power brick up in here. And there's still room to fit your cords for like your phones and such. So that, that goes well. Hard drive cord, just throw that right in there. And I guess I can put this Pouch for like my pencils and such over on the side. And that fits. And I think these were labeled as like water bottle holders or drink holders and such. So I'm going to try a few of those out and see what we can put in. So I have a Hydro Flask, 40 ounce Hydro Flask. And let's see if this fits. I'm not even going to try. That's definitely not, not going to fit in there. So, four ounce hydro flask, no go. I believe this is a 26 ounce Yeti. Let's see if I can slide this in there. Actually, let's close this and try to put this in there. It just doesn't. 
Okay, so that is... That's the only way you can fit your, your 26 ounce Yeti in there. If you have anything bigger than a 26 ounce Yeti, that's a no-go. I think they make an 18 ounce Yeti bottle, which might fit in there. So this will go in there upside. Okay, here we go. All right, so laptop feels safe, headphones feel safe, controllers are right. So you you could fix it, fit a 26 ounce Yeti in there. It's kind of pushing it, but it goes. So 26 ounce Yeti and smaller. I would recommend smaller. Will fit in there. Uh, what about your standard? I forget how many ounces these things are. We'll try a nail gene. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not. No. That's really close. No go on the nail gene because I feel the force against the laptop. So the standard nail gene model, that's a no go. What about a 32 ounce blender bottle? Okay, that's not too bad. I think if you're walking, no, this is good. So, a 32 ounce blender bottle will definitely fit in there. I still think it's kind of pushing it, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. Now, what about a swell? I think this is a 20 ounce swell bottle. Let's see if this can fit in here. Okay. A 20 ounce swell bottle. Now, that right there, pretty good fit. 20 ounce swill bottle. Definitely gonna go. Now how about a vitamin water? Pretty easy. So vitamin water, that's a definite go. Twelve ounce keg bottle. No questions asked. All right, so that's what you got there. Um, I probably knowing now that my swirl bottle fits in there. Laptop safe, headphones safe, everything else is safe, good to go. So the patch. This is just. I believe it's. A Three by five patch. Throw my Tennessee patch on there. And a three by two. It's about a three by two patch that I can stick on here. All right, so I'm ready to go anywhere with my headphones, my mouse, my hard drives, water bottle, and all my cords. Headphones, laptop itself, power brick. So it fits all that, but still got to throw one more thing in there. But will it do? I think it will. It's kind of disappointing. Well, if you, I don't know, if I just maneuver anything around, I can fit my school book in there and a drawing pad. 
is doable, but it's pushing it. But that is the Alienware M17 Pro Backpack. It fits. Everything shows you pretty good, but I will have to shift things around if I want to take all my gear and my school gear to school or anywhere else. So, that's it. Now, my personal opinion on this is the material is decent. The price is decent compared to other things I've seen at like Target and all. Alienware branded, so it's made specifically for my M17 laptop. And the backpack doesn't really have that slot to just throw that right in there. So yeah. M17 Slim or one of the newer M17 models. I don't think you're going to have any kind of issues just sliding your laptop in there with all the cores and if you have any controllers and headphones and such, you'll be seeing that all fits in there. So you're just gaming on the go and want to take all your gear, you're, you're all set here. It's a great backpack for that. If you're doing school, you're probably going to have to kind of maneuver things around and bring all your gear and your schoolwork. But normally I don't bring my headphones with me to school, so. I can slide my books in there very easily. As a general, general backpack, it's great. If you're trying to do anything more with it, then I'd look somewhere else. But that's it. That is my perspective on this Alienware M17 Pro backpack. But that's all I got for you. See you. Oh, yeah, side note. I was able to fit some size 10 Flyknit Jordan 1s in there, no issues. A change of clothes. And it just, it fit perfectly, a size 10 fits perfectly. I think anything above a size 10, you're gonna, you're gonna have a little bit of struggles with, but I did go to the gym, so, I can pack my gym clothes, my laptop, mouse, power brick, but I would have to leave the controller and headphones behind, which is okay because I use wireless headphones anyway. So if you should bring your laptop, your mouse, power cord, and such, and a change of gym clothes, I mean, you're set there. Just add note there, but that's it. See ya.